Hi, my name's Frank Bird. I've been going to Crossroads, Susie and I have, for many, many years. And uh, I'm very glad to be here. First, first thing I can tell you is thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, because never have I seen in my life, and it's been quite a while, uh, the generosity and the complete uh, togetherness of the church helping me out and everything for this uh, during this period. A little background on this, I was born when I was little <laughs> in New York City, in Manhattan. I went to college in Spain, and went to college in uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Charlotte, North Carolina, and then they, it was decided that it didn't matter where I went to college because they're going to draft me. So I joined the uh, I joined the Navy. So we wound up being a personnel man. Personnel man. A personnel man who runs typewriters and keeps records and do all that thing. But it's not a medic and it's not a cook. Yeah. So you went to Nam, got the Navy. You went to Nam. Uh huh. And you were you were not hurt or were you in action? Oh yeah, I was out in the Gulf of Tonkin. Okay. Uh, our, our, our squadron in the, that day scored a direct nuclear hit on an American aircraft carrier. Oh, man. And you can't really do that. I mean, you really got to be good to do that. Right, Because right. everything, is, everything is by the numbers. Sure. Marines cordoned the place off. Right. But they didn't figure the camera pod would blow the bomb off because bombs are blown up an A4F. Right. But did, you didn't get hurt in that? Oh, in no. That, no. No, no. I was I'm getting ready to get hurt. Yeah. Uh, I got out. Uh, I was going home for, um, I'd almost done my four years, right. and I was going home for Christmas, and people were dri driving from Philadelphia to San Francisco, and they fell asleep at the wheel of their car. Mm. We hit it 115 miles an hour head on, oh. combined speed, right. and it knocked the car 46 feet west, and I was heading east. The high patrolman threw up when he saw me, because oh. this side of my head was gone, yeah. and this eye was hanging down by my mouth, Jeez. hanging down by the nerve cord. Then I think my spleen ruptured, mm. uh, a few days after the, uh, the accident, yeah, and they had to take it out. So they had me uh, in the operating room, and I was up in the corner of the operating room mm -hmm. watching myself. Really? And it was neither good nor bad. It was perfect peace. Wow. And I watched them cut me open and uh, fade to black, and that's all I remember. But that was God's way of saying, I got this. Uh, yeah? Is that where you met Susie? Well, Susie, Susie was the uh, working at Portsmouth Naval Hospital at the time. There she was, wait, waiting by the door. And uh, that's crazy. Let me in. She had a Volkswagen car and a guitar, so she was nearly perfect. <laughs> never give up. Mm. If you do that, never give up, because yeah. uh, all the time you're talking bad self-talk. You can talk yourself into to I death. Right. And then we were talking one time about what Christianity boils down to: it's love, shut up, and listen. Well, if you got the love from God, you can't uh, you can't really go wrong. I mean, you can it, it can be rough, real rough. And then shutting up is uh, oh God, this is terrible. Let, let me let me let me tell you, God, you probably didn't know this, <laughs> but, but there are all these things that are going on in my life that are just really suck. And I, I know uh, I know you're busy. But let me tell you about what's what's wrong. Uh, rather than and by doing that, you're filling the air, you're blocking the signals. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and then listen. Uh, by doing that, you you, you uh, yeah yeah. yeah. Like what was it? C.S. Lewis said that the uh, the word you'll hear most in heaven is oh. <laughs> that's so true. Well, a song's been coming through my head about. Uh, Chris Christopherson wrote it, and I said, Lord, let me walk another mile, just one more mile, one more mile. I'm tired of walking all alone. Lord, let me smile, another smile, just one more smile. You know I can't do it on my own. I thought I'd never needed help before. I thought that I could make it by myself, and now I see I just can't take it anymore. On a humble, with a humble heart on bended, bended knee, I'm begging you, please, help. That, that really puts, you know, when you're lying flat on your back on the floor, uh, there's only one, only one way. You never heard it? I don't think so. Hand me that guitar over there. No. Oh. 
help me walk another mile just one more mile I'm tired of walking smile, another mile, smile, just one more smile, you know I just can't, I just can't make it on my own, Lord I never needed help before. Oh, that I could make it by myself. Now see, I just can't take it anymore. With a humble heart on bended knee, I'm begging you please, help. down from your golden throne to me, lowly me, I need the touch of your gentle hand, remove clouds of darkness, and let me see, Lord, let me see. Just how I fit into your master plan. Oh. Yes, amen. Lord, I never needed help before. No, no, no. Lord, that I could make it by myself. Now I see I just can't take it anymore With a humble heart on bended knee I'm begging you please help me Wow, so good, Frank well, so Thank good. you, Throne Source Church, thank you for everything I'll never have, there's not enough time to thank you for everything so thank you from the bottom of our hearts to you for what you guys have done. In the name of Jesus.